Hello everybody and welcome back to the Goalie Be a Pro. Uh, we are with TJ here, a 9-12 save percentage and a pretty good record I might add. The team is second in the league at this moment in time and I believe we're still chasing a shutout in order to get that one X factor. I can already feel like my voice is just not having it today so apologies in advance if you can <laughs> kind of tell but uh, yeah, we need to get one shutout. We should be able to maintain an 890, but honestly, we're creeping pretty close to it, apparently. Hello? Why does it say we have a 912, but here it says an 899? Whatever. Okay. Uh, cool. We're still above it, though, so that's all that matters. We have the Montreal Canadiens here, but first, I will view the lines just to show you guys what's going on here. So, we got Nuge at 88 overall, playing with McDusty and Yamamoto. Then we got Pool Party with Dreisaitl and Druen. Uh, dry saddle really not really not performing so well you know 25 points 40 games and a dash 15 i don't know what's going on there but it's just not working out our third line is really good uh mostly because of deno and hyman i guess barabanov you know alexander you contribute okay i'll give you that and then our fourth line isn't bad on defense we got nurse and barry and overall we're just pretty decent and in net we got tj because of course we do and then Pavel as the backup. So our first game today will be against the Montreal Canadiens. Here we go. The only team in the league whose primary language is different from English. <laughs> Here we go. First period. Boom. Nice. That's a good start. Leo, second period. Ooh. Okay. Paling and Hoffman getting a goal. Let us jump in and see if we can redeem that second period and come out with a victory. Actually, I'm going to change up our jerseys again. Let's see what other kind of jerseys we have. Those are kind of neat, I guess. Hockey fights cancer. Yeah, those are cool as well. Uh, ooh. I like those. I do like those. Yo! I didn't even know those were in the game. Have I seen those before? I probably already have. And I'm freaking out for a second time. But definitely rocking those jerseys. And they can wear those. Because why not? Might as well spice things up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Get some jerseys in here. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're doing pretty good as well. They have 22 wins, 14 losses at the moment. So we're not, you know, crazy ahead or anything. But still, hopefully we can mount a lovely third period comeback here. Even though it's not like a, it's not a big comeback. You know what I mean? It's only, it's only one goal. But still, it's still, it's a big mental hurdle to overcome as well. Going into the third period down by one. So if we can pull this off, which... I definitely believe we can, then splendid. But if not, it's just a regular season game. You know, hopefully I can play all right back here. I don't know how many shots they had. I didn't look actually, so that is my bad. Suzuki goes over to Hoffman and Darnell Nurse. Gonna shut him down defensively, good stuff. Okay, back to the point. Savard gets it over to Romanov and just passing it, but no, I'll save that. What am I doing? Even before I passed that, I'm like, I shouldn't pass that. And then I just went and did it anyway. I mean, it kind of worked out, but again, no. that That's not the meter I should <laughs> base this off of. I shouldn't measure that based on, you know, whether the, the defense successfully managed to outwit the player that is one inch away from them. Because it just doesn't work like that. The next time, for all I know, their player will just get a stick on it, rebound. Oh my word, what a save. That was just crazy. All right, Dvorak, he's in. Gets it over to Cop, And that will not amount to anything because Nurse is going to take Cop into the boards. And he will get the puck. The Oiler is going to cough it up as soon as they... Oh, never mind. Duren fights back for it. Look at this guy go. Just a crazy individual effort. He deserves that. He deserves that goal so intensely after... Everything that just went down. I mean, sure, he did cough it up as soon as he entered the zone. Yeah, you could tally that in the negative list, but the pros definitely outweigh the cons on that shift because he hustled, got it back, battled through like three guys, and then was in perfect position for that rebound. So good for you, Johnny. That was a lovely goal. We are tied 2-2 in this third period. Oh no. Oh my word. Great breakup by the defenseman. I was not ready for that pass. I thought he was going to take the shot, but again, I should be the one to take the shooter. 
And then the defense should be the one who covers up the potential pass. So, yeah, that was just a very solid play. I did have the shooter, and the defense clearly did have the pass. So, as a result, no goal. You know what I'm saying? There's a save. Yeah, I'm giving that to you. You're wide open over there. Graves, come on. That's, that's one of the ones I don't really feel bad about. It was super low risk. So, that is a pass that I will definitely make again without hesitation. But the the one before that, the earlier one, maybe not. Probably shouldn't be doing that. Let's go, Hyman. Let's go. Nope, he is going to get nudged off the puck rather easily, I might point out here. But anyway, doesn't matter. We are tied 2-2, which is nice. Better than being down by one, which we were not so long ago. Thanks to Jonathan Drewen. That was almost a shot, but the defense is going to break that up. Suzuki seems kind of frustrated with that. <laughs> Goes to uh, make a hit after there, but it's okay. Hoffman is going to lose it, and now it is out of the Edmonton Oilers zone. All right, we need, to, we need to turn this around here, guys. Let's get some pressure going because they have been controlling the puck and the pace of play for the last several minutes here, and I don't like it. McDavid getting dropped, which definitely doesn't help. Okay, that offside is kind of a momentum killer. My voice just gave out already. Amazing. Oh no. Oh no. Savard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an easy save. I shouldn't have made that pass either. What am I doing? What am I doing? That was super risky. Okay, well, clearly this game I'm living life on the edge. Because I'm not even hesitating. I'm not even thinking twice about it. Just instantly, yep, get rid of it. So that is not something I'm overly proud of at the moment. But, I mean, they've all worked. They've all worked. I haven't been scored on yet. Otherwise, I probably would stop. No, I wouldn't. Let's be real. I'd probably still do... Like, yeah, I, I wouldn't give up. Speaking of the Edmonton Oilers, as of when I'm recording this, so much after the fact, this series will be long done by then, but... The Edmonton Oilers just pushed a Game 7 against the LA Kings in round number 1. Last night, they took home a 4-2 W, I believe? And, yeah, so... It's gonna be a Game 7 in Toronto, Tampa... Also going to be a Game 7. I am gassed about that. I am still in shock that the Capitals managed to blow a 3-0 lead against the Panthers. That was not fun to watch whatsoever. But watch it, I did, nonetheless. Is it possible to get a too-many-men penalty in NHL? Like, the game? Obviously, I know the real NHL, but in NHL 22, is that a possibility? I feel like it's not, right? Because the players only jump on the bench... Or off the bench once the uh, other player is already on the bench. So I feel like that's probably a penalty that you cannot get in this virtual game. But maybe there's like a, a weird situation where it's possible. I don't know. Is that a thing? Is it in the game? Do you guys know? Again, my, my assumption and guess would be no, it is not. But maybe. You don't really know. I suppose it is somewhat possible. But yeah. I'm curious about that. So let me know if you guys have seen that or if you know if it's possible or not. Overtime is slowly looking more and more likely here. We got about 30 seconds left. A 2-2 hockey game here in Edmonton. And McDavid might. Oh my word. I thought he was going to do it. I thought he was going to say absolutely not to that OT. But he missed the net, I think. Or maybe he saved it. I'm not sure. But either way, puck went out of play. Leon is at the center. Like, why don't they have star lines anymore? I remember in, like, NHL 06, they had star line where it's, like, the last four minutes or five minutes of play, they would heavily prioritize putting that line out. And you just put, like, all your all-stars out, whether they fit on a line properly or not. And this would be the time to put Dreisaitl and McDavid out together, in my opinion. Okay? That's just my opinion. But I think that they would put in some work together. Anyway... Not much we can do about it. We are, in fact, headed to overtime. So let's do this thing. Actually, one thing I wanted to check is how many shots they have. Okay, 25 to 28. So really, I shouldn't let in a goal unless they get five more shots if I want to maintain that 900 in this game. But I am happy that the boys are walking out of here with a point regardless. So no matter what happens, we're at least getting one point. I'm watching that pass. Absolutely not. I don't think so. I was going to hug the post, but then I saw that, you know, he was just waiting for that pass. Okay, yeah, you're wide open. That's a easy pass. Don't even have to debate on that one. Leon is in. 
The Oilers' first charge. See, now we got Dreisaitl and McDavid out there. And now Goal Caulfield coming back the other way. Gets it over to Romanov, who stops up. He tries to take a slap shot through a crowd. And now it's in the corner. And that will be won by a Leon. Here we go, Oilers. McDavid's in. Nice pass to Barry, who has a clear path to the net. Takes a shot. And that will be saved. Is it Carey? Like, who's in net for them? I haven't really looked, actually. I haven't been paying attention. I just kind of assumed it was Carey Price, but... I don't think it is, actually. Maybe. Let's find out. Uh, it's number 31, so... Maybe it is, actually. Let's see. It is Price. All right. Big save. Montreal wins the draw in their own zone. And now they are looking to create an attack. Okay, that's going to be a pass. That's going to be a pass. No, it's not. Wow. Okay, good thing I didn't cheat to the pass extremely like I was going to. He actually ended up taking a shot, which was saved by the oven mitt of TJ. Good passing, Oilers. Ooh, good shot, too. But no goal just yet. Nuge battling for it. Nurse and Yamamoto passing it at the point there. But now the puck is in possession of the Montreal Canadiens. Cop taking a low shot. That will be steered aside. Savard going for a shot as well. And that's blocked. And now a break back the other way. Come on. Look at these moves from Kyler Yamamoto. Guy is trying to get fancy pantsy out there. What a pass. Nurse, the rebound. No. Oh, man. That was golden. And then we missed the net. Oh, you're kidding me. I don't want to go to a shootout, man. Shootouts are so lame. I mean, I like them in real life, but in this, nah, I'm out. <laughs> okay, take the pass. Take the pass. He did. I got played like a fiddle. Holy crap, cop. Just destroyed me. Well, they ended up with 29 shots, but man. Yeah, that last goal there, cop, is an animal. I must say, my jock strap is somewhere in the Let's upper deck the after that one. On the what a move. Look to run rough shot over they the sure did, James. Montreal played a thriller and they scored yeah. the OT winner to mm -hmm. take the extra point. Can't the deny that. Ordered a fill as they tried to take two Sim to next game. Against the wild. We're not in. Turned it up in the skills get us a dub, Pavel. And they get the extra point in the win. Mm -hmm. the I think it was to match up with a regulation L. Tampa played pad the stats night, winning we got the Carolina Hurricanes here for maybe Sim Game 1, or well, maybe I will jump in. We'll see. If it's a close game, I'll jump in. Ooh. Nah, we'll Sim it. Let's see what happens. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay. Overtime. Nothing. Shootout. Big win for your Edmonton Oilers. Three stars of the game. Uh, there you go. Look at Alexander. I sort of wrote him off at the beginning of this episode, and now he's proven me wrong. Love it. Let's sim to the next game here. We have a conversation with McDusty. What are we going to see in St. Louis? Is that where the giant, like, chrome bean thing is? Another game coming up. We really need to... Um, take this one. Okay, sure. So, yeah. Let's do it. And I'm definitely not over-promising. I'll try to be a top three star, but we'll see what happens. What if you guys just get, like, 90 goals each and I get a shutout? I mean, you're probably not going to see me in the three stars then, but I deserve it. Anyway. Uh, we are in for St. Louis. Sim game. First period. <laughs> Oh, we get two goals from Justin Hall, too. A shorthanded goal from Justin Hall. Yeah, there goes my chance of being a first star. Oh, yippee. Okay. 6-5 win for St. Louis. Now I have to go into a meeting with Connor again. And he's going to be like, you suck. You're absolutely brutal. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Promise failure. I wasn't a top three star. Not even close, as a matter of fact. Letting in... I already forget the score. Was it 6-5? Six, six goals, I suppose? Whatevs. Get me out of here. Like, these cutscenes are just so long, man. <laughs> just text me or something. I have a phone pop up on the screen so I can just mash A and not have to worry about the fades in and out and loading of the cutscenes. Okay. Game against Dallas here. We're not in. And we take a W. Nice. Okay. That is good. Sim this game as well. The Wild. And I think that's another win. Pavel. Doing splendid right now. Boston Bruins. Here we go. First period. 
One, one, second period. Oh, okay, let's jump into this one. Then I have to sim like, I don't know, we'll just wing it as we go. Four or five games typically is what I do. Or I, I mean, I do sometimes four, sometimes six, I think. So yeah, we'll just sort of wing it and see what happens. Here comes Riley. He was entering the zone with meaning. It looks like he wants to get the lead here, but who doesn't, you know? Good save by Ulmark. Right off the hop here. And yeah, not bad. A pretty fast-paced start to the third period. Face off to the right of Allmark, because I'm going from his perspective. That's what I've decided on. McDavid, can he take a big W? No, he cannot. Because he's going up against Bergeron. Fair enough. Can't really expect a W there. McAvoy gets it to Patrice, who enters the zone. He's going to go for it, isn't he? Passes in the middle to Marchi. And Pop Fly is caught by TJ. You're out. McDavid hands it off to Yamamoto, who goes for the good old fashioned. What a hockey play. Dump and chase. Charlie McAvoy up to Andre Palat. Oh, nice, McDavid. Good back check. Headmans it to Yamamoto yet again, who stops up, finds McDavid. Great shot. But Allmark. Up to the challenge yet again. Nice passing here by the Oilers. That was beautiful. But not good enough as we weren't able to really get a solid opportunity on the net. Oh no. Riley with it. That will be stopped by the blocker. It's kind of weird how some of the shots they take are just complete laser beams. And the other ones are uh, not really laser beams. Poke check. Power play for what? Interference? I don't even know if my poke check, like, registered or not. I kind of want to go see. Did my guy at least try to poke check? Let's rewind. Rewind. Okay, so. And. Oh, yep. We actually did get the poke check off. It just. That went right through the puck. That should have been a, a easy puck is gone poke check. Wow. I see you, NHL. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Right in the oven mitt. Why did I pass that out? Man, I am just making plays that I should not be making today. Moving mad at the moment. All right, Klingberg is in. Gets the zone entry for the bees. Hull. Come on, man. I feel like I should have had that. Ah, all right. Well, it is now 2-1 Bruins. The boys can get one, for sure. I do believe that... The Oilers will not go scoreless in this third period. Let's say that. Am I going to say that we're going to win? No, because I don't know what I'm going to do back here. But I do, however, think that the Oilers will get one in this third period. Some good passing here by the Bruins. And... Oh, yeah, the puck manages to get out. Fire me vertical. Dustin Brown going to get rocked at center ice there, it looks like. But the Bruins, oh my word, I was so out of position. I was too busy focusing on what was going on in the neutral zone. Probably not a good idea. Maybe don't do that in the future. Dry sidle. oh no! The rebound would have been huge. Allmark gonna save that one as well. We still got 11.30 to go here, but man. Allmark so far. Playing splendidly for the Bruins. Leon takes a shot. I don't know if... Allmark saved that, or if it was just wide, but he scores there. Let's go, Dreisaitl. Gets it in the slot. Does a little... Was it like a 180 shot? Maybe a 90 shot? How much of a spin did he even do here? Tape to tape. What a pass. Five assists on the season. Yeah, it was a 180. How you doing? Sends it home. This game is tied. And that Boston defense is also moving a little bit mad. Because it looked like there was a couple slashes there during the celebration. I do not appreciate that, sir. All right, lads, let's get another one. Let's go into the Bruin zone and bury what will be the game winner. Because I'm not letting in another goal. Absolutely not. They aren't scoring on me again this game. What was I just saying? <laughs> I take that back. Holy, that play was very, very threatening. Okay, that's a save. Pass that out. What am I doing? Shouldn't have done that. But I, I did it. Nonetheless, Yamamoto going to get rocked. Now McDavid getting rocked, all because of me. I put all of that burden on me. If I would have just not passed that puck out, none of this would have happened. But anyway, 
What's done is done. Great song from an old NHL game yet again. NHL 09, I think. I'll say it every time. McDavid getting the puck after it bounces from the corner, but he's going to lose it. Now Stahl goes behind the Bruins net. Ooh, that was almost a big hit there, but I think he kind of let up. And we have a delayed penalty inbound. Awesome. <laughs> that was scary. Kind of sounded like the Miz's entrance right there. Let's do it to know. Uh, well, I guess, uh, no, I thought we were going to get it out. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. They still have possession, though. Charlie McAvoy, he's walking in. Whoa, what was that? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, that one was a little bit safer, but still, I don't think I should have done that. Well, puck's down the ice, so let's count our blessings here. And we, how much time's left? Still a minute left in this man advantage for the Bruins. Okay, I don't want them to get that cross crease pass off. It does look like our defense are doing a little bit better with noticing that that player is wide open and trying to take away the pass, so I appreciate that. Clearly something the lads have been working on. And the puck goes right back down the ice again. 20 seconds to go. I thought he was going to smother it. I'm going to say, what a mad lad. McLeod tries to pin it behind. Look at this. PK go. Holy. That was an incredible penalty kill. I'm going to go get that. And pass it back this way to the Nuge, who gets rocked somehow. I think, even though there was like no momentum there. And now we're just coughing the puck up to them. What is all this about? We had that incredible PK. That should get the momentum soaring for us. And instead, we're instantly putting out the flame for some reason. Bruins back in here. But it looks like Edmonton will get possession real quick. Leon stopping up. Goes across the ice to Nuge. Who is entering the Bruin zone in the middle to Dreisaitl who tries to take a clapper. And that won't get through. McDavid. Oh, look at that. We have McDavid, Dreisaitl, and Nuge out there right now. And they are getting bare chances. That was crazy. Okay. Actually, I think they're staying out. Did they listen to me? I think all three of those guys are still out. That is amazing, if so. And, yep, they're there. All right, we're getting a goal. We're getting a goal. This thing is not going to OT. 100% with these guys out together. It's just a guaranteed goal. Hate to break it to you. You know, it's not a... Well, it is a spoiler, as a matter of fact. Because, look at that. We just scored. Boom. How you doing? When you know, you know, boys. What can I say? Whoa. That player just went soaring. All right. Well, the shot and the rebound right over the right mini wheat. Of Allmark and the Edmonton Oilers in the lead now with not much time remaining. Okay, the bees are not very happy. They are not happy at all. They're trying to sting me. Oh, where is it? Where is it? I don't like this. Okay, Bergeron got a backhand off, but that was stopped as well. Seven seconds remaining. Oh, man. Yes, Dreisaitl, you legend. Two seconds. That's game. Boom. What a W. For your Edmonton Oilers. We got to get that line out there more often. The McDavid, Dreisaitl, and Nuge line. We really do. Three stars of the game. Um, I will get to after this, actually. I just wanted to see how many shots they had first. They had 33 and only two goals. So that is nice. Let's see. Do we get a second star for that? We sure do. TJ with a 939 save percentage. I've seen all I got to see. Let's get out of here and see if maybe James wants to weigh in with something or not. Maybe. We're probably going to tell us what's going on around the league. Come on. Do it, James. Ooh, all green. Ow. I kind of hurt my ankle. Terrific. We got the Detroit Red Wings here. We're fourth in the league right now. I need to sim like, yeah, I don't know, four games maybe we'll do. It's a high scoring first period. Oh, wow. Okay. And okay. Nice. That's a big win from the Oilers. McLeod, Deneau, and Barry. Your three. Did Barry have four points? What a legend. What an absolute legend. He got four points on five goals. Sim to the next game here against the Buffalo Sabres. We're not in. Pavel. Can you get us a dub? I think he did. 
I think he did. I, I'm pretty sure we were at 29 wins. Let's sim this game against the Tampa Bay Lightning, who are, I think actually that just said they were in third. I believe they're one position ahead of us right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What a performance. 5-2 victory. Three stars of the game. I'm not on there. Are you kidding me? Whatever. A little bit rude, but that's all right. Two goals from Dreisaitl and McDavid. Three apples from the Nooch. What's up? Wait, I'm injured? When did that happen? Okay, what's up? What do you want from me? Uh, skating trip. Oh, we're taking a trip to the Everglades. Uh, sure, let's go. Why not? And just neutral. Yeah. -huh. Okay. Hopefully you're not afraid of alligators. I mean, yeah, a little bit. I don't want to get eaten by an alligator. Sorry. Anyways, yeah, I'm injured. So we got a conversation with the reporter here. That's probably going to be like, oh... You got a bruised leg. What's going on? Halfway through the year and team is performing well. Oh. Okay, well, yeah, we're, we're making the playoffs. What are you saying? What a silly question. What did you tell me? Listen to Sabalski. It's a very simple recipe. It's a simple formula. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, I, I do not like this one, James. Deliver. I told you he still had a lot of gas left in the tank. I told you he had a lot of drive still. And look where we are here, right? Look Coming where we the are. Stretch, the look at us. Of this season, he's been outstanding this year, and this team looks poised for another run come the playoffs. All right? We'll get I'm injured. Phone calls next. Stick around. Why are you putting me in? All right, Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's go. Let's play some hockey. First so period. Look the I league. think so. Yeah. Second period. Uh-huh. And boom. Ooh, what a game. 42 shots from us. And they ended up with like 20-something. Yeah, 952. Not bad. Darcy Kemper played pretty solid as well. Got to give credit where credit's due. Montreal Canadiens again. We are second in the league once more. James zip it. And we can hopefully squeak out another W. Actually, we took an overtime loss to them. Oh, that's huge. Boom. Ah, no. They get it in the third period. That's lame. Um, honestly, I was going to check the three stars, but just... Didn't care. <laughs> so, uh, I'll sim one more. We'll do one more. The Seattle Kraken. They are 25th in the league. First period. Uh-huh. Second. All right. Third? Ooh, not a good game. Not a good game at all. They only had 24 shots as well. Yucky. Grubauer playing phenomenal. 971. And continue. All right. Let me sim up to the next game. And sim this one as well because we're not in. That's a W. Thank you, Pavel. Let's check out some of the statistics, shall we? Stat Central. How many games have we played is the real question here. We're getting there. 54 already. We're first in the division. But um, Anaheim and the Golden Knights are hot on our trail. If we check out the entire league, we are currently fourth. Okay. Not a, not a lot separates... These teams here. Montreal is first in the league right now with 73. So they're only three points ahead of us. We are definitely still in the hunt for the President's Trophy. Individual awards. We got McDavid awards. Individual stats. There we go. That's a little bit better. McDavid has 57 points in 52 games. We've got the Nuge with 40. Dreisaitl with 39 and a dash 12. I don't know what's going on there, mate. Uh, Yamamoto, 34. Hyman, 31. Okay, let's just scroll to the bottom here. And there you have it. And goalies, let us see how we're doing here. So, Pavel, 9 8 no, with a 9 14, 272. TJ, 24, 9 and 4, with a 9 12, 244. Okay, so the goalies are both doing all right here. And yeah, the Oilers are doing well as a team, as we're currently fourth in the league and first in our division. So, uh, we'll probably have maybe two, maybe three. We'll see. More episodes of the season. I'm thinking maybe two, but we'll just see how it goes. So, uh, three is definitely a possibility. But yeah, we are flying through this season. Things are going well so far, and I hope you guys are enjoying. I'll see you soon.